when we think of community organizing, we think only on the faces of the people who belong to the community. But often, we forget about those people who mobilize and put on the work to get the community together. Hi everyone, my name is Luis. Before we continue, remember to subscribe, to hit the bell, and if you like the content of this video, to leave a comment and like it and share it. So as I was saying, many times we forget about those people who mobilize their community and get them together. Today, I'm with Orozana. Hi. And then she is the vice mayor <laughs> of... Luis. <laughs> she's the vice mayor of the 11th district in Budapest where I live and she's also the vice president of the Momentum Party where I work at. So I'm really excited. Let's talk about a little bit about content creation and the importance of social media communication on this video. I'm really looking forward. Let's get into it. So as I was saying in the video, my name is Luis. If you don't know me, I'm with Anna. She's the vice mayor Hi. of the 11th district where I live. And um, how long we know each other? Four I years? Think four years, five years? Four years, Something five years. <laughs> Great. A long time. So um, Anna, you are in a representative position, which is a little bit different uh, from the videos that we do uh, when we think of local heroes. But then can you tell me a little bit on how do you mix that part of being in a representative position, but also, you know, being a community organizer? Yeah, that's an interesting challenge because um, normally municipal, like politicians in municipalities, they don't um, do so much social media and there is not so much highlight on, on what, I don't know, mayors and local representatives are doing in the media. Uh, but since, I mean, Hungary is in a very tricky political positions, uh, po political situation now, um, we really have to focus on showing the people what we are doing and how we are working for them and how we represent them. So this poses a lot of challenges to us, but I think we are, we are, we are dealing with it quite, quite well. Yeah, I think so. I mean, today specifically, we came here to Copacigat. I'm going to leave some of the images that we did, uh, but uh, we're actually uh, creating content. Uh, for your social media, for the campaign that you're running, and it's about, for example, specifically in this part, is how urbanization can go wrong somehow. Uh, we live, we used to live, or I, I, we like, I live here for ten years. You mm -hmm. live here for how long? Like ten years, yeah. And it was a very green district. And That's right. I was also born here, uh, so as a child, I, I also lived here, and it was a um, very green district. And now there are a lot of construction sites and. Um, like new um, building areas and, 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 and apartment sites and stuff like that and the skyscraper here um, and there are like 5,000 new apartments um, here and I mean on the one hand it's good because the district is developing and the economy is booming on the other hand it's bad because like nature is being destroyed and people have more and more um, desire to, 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 to have access to nature to the river and to enjoy the green parts of, of the city so like um, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a challenge for politicians to, to recognize this new new demand for, for greener politics. It's just funny because actually like I before, I mean private before when we were walking, I was asking her that well, you know what's wrong with progress and so on. And then you were telling me about sustainable progress, which is a little bit different uh, of just like urbanization just developing all these projects and so on, which is a cool thing. So uh, the content that we're creating today is actually to show up, and then to share and to share you know like what is supposed to be you know uh, a green district and how uh, important it is so how much emphasis do you put on your social media normally on my social media <clears throat> quite a lot so i think people know very little little about municipal politics yeah. uh, and i mean right now in hungary the only like um, positions where, where opposition parties can actually do something are the municipal seats so I think we really have um, we really have to show people what we are doing and how we are working for them uh, so that they can imagine what we would do if we were in government so I think this is a huge responsibility and local politicians have to live up with this but um, yeah, it's difficult, but it's doable, and I, I, I see that people are interested in local matters. So, so it's 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 like you get feedback quite uh, quickly when when you're posting about yep. local matters on Facebook or social media. So we have uh, we have few partners that are always reminding us and saying, you know, the fact that you're elected doesn't mean that you're not in campaign mm -hmm. because there's always an upcoming campaign, and you are. <laughs> 
It's actually funny because many elected officials forget that and then they just stop communicating after the campaign. Yeah. Uh, not you. Which is a huge mistake. Which is a huge mistake. Uh, but you are one of our main candidates, uh, of the Momentum candidates for the upcoming election. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, we had elections uh, two years ago for local positions where we actually conquer a lot of spaces against the corrupt government in Hungary, but then now we will have national elections for the parliament and Anna is one of the bright stars of the party. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, <laughs> but then how do you see actually uh, this, this challenge and then this transition again into campaigning? Yeah, um, we definitely uh, communicate more, which I think is good for the whole opposition. So, I mean, yeah. the primaries, we are having primaries in, in September, which is a, like an invention of the opposition parties. Uh, and this is a big step towards um, defeating Fidesz, hopefully, in 2022. Um, and I, I, I see that, I mean, there is competition between opposition parties and I see that they communicate more than they would normally do at the, I don't know, second year of their of their mandate. So, so I see it as a very, very good um, thing in, in Hungarian politics, I think, yeah. I was, I was surprised of one specific thing, uh, I'll be honest, um, we, we were together in the, in the Momentum summer camp uh, a week ago and then when we were doing the photos, I did a photo of all the female candidates Okay. and there were not that many. There were not that many, there are more, more female candidates than like those who were there yeah. at the camp of course, but yeah, I mean the share of female candidates is less than 20%, which is, which is um, pretty, it's, uh, we, we definitely need to improve that, mm. especially because female politicians are mostly very successful and, and popular, so, so they yeah. are doing a great work and, and you can see that the people have a demand for, for, for female politicians um, because they represent different issues or they represent issues differently uh, than what we are used to so uh, yeah we are working a lot in momentum on, 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 on getting more 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 female politicians we take a lot of or we brag a lot that we have the biggest uh, membership numbers when mm -hmm. it comes to our district mm -hmm. I love our district mm -hmm. I do think that our district is amazing uh, do we have few words about it? Our local unit. Yes. Yeah, it's an amazing team. We are campaigning together right now. Yesterday we were doing door-to-door -door campaign uh, in the northern part of the district, and it's full of energetic, smart, and dedicated people. I love them, really. <laughs> and um, they are amazing. I mean, they are doing a lot of work for for Hungarian democracy. And I mean, they yeah. are sometimes, like always, they are sacrificing their private life, their, pri their private time, and uh, they come. And I don't know. We are talking to people at the market hall, we are doing door to door, we yeah. are doing action, political action, so yeah, it's a, it's a great, great, great team. Listen, I have told you this before, but let me just say it again. I do admire a lot the work that you do. I'm very grateful for the work that you do. It's not easy to be in the front. It's not easy to get all the punches. So I am very uh, happy to have local viewers like you in the party. <laughs> uh, but, you know, if you like the content, I hope that you continue uh, joining our journey. I will leave down in the description the social media of Anna so you can follow her and then you can also see all the amazing content that she's creating and then you can follow the journey of democratization of she's Hungary. Okay. Well, a little bit, a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> all right, remember to subscribe, to hit the bell, comment if you liked it and then suggest it to your friends. And then I hope to see you next time in another journey. Bye. Bye.